Well, Paul, 2 0, looked very comfortable. How did it feel? Yeah, I think um, it's probably about right. We, you know, we were searching always for that first goal. I think it's always important. We always say that the goals, you know, sort of the goals change uh, change games, and to get one when we did was important. And then to get one just after half time again, um, two 0 was relatively comfortable. Put Woken pass the ball around, you know, nicely in the second half without really hurting us. And you know, we had to conserve a bit of energy second half because you know where we've not been able to train really for this last week to ten days with the weather. You know, you could just see our energy levels had dropped markedly. So, you know, you had uh, some great performances out. I thought our skipper tonight was was fantastic. Bolonara with his pace, but we also saw three or three or four of our players sort of run on empty after sort of sixty or seventy, which is unusual for us. So, you know, we let Woken have the ball really for the last 15, 20 minutes, and I thought we just saw the game out, and it was a professional win. Not a lot happening in the first half, really, and then a slight scruffy goal not to uh, put us in front. Yeah, it was a strange goal. I'd need to watch it again. Like, I don't think it's not even a noise from within the stadium when the ball hit the back of the net. It was a, it was a strange uh, scenario, um, but you take him. You know, at the end of the day, Byron's a six-yard box. You know, he's an absolute machine. I mean, he's lethal in that area, and that's why we've got him. I think that's his third goal in four games now. So. You know, we weren't. Um, I got to look at myself tonight because I think I picked a bit of a wrong shape. If I'm being honest, we went for a four-three-three, and it didn't really work. It was a bit lopsided, and I thought we looked a lot better with our shape second half. Um, you know, and two or three people weren't at their best first half. Uh, that's for sure. But it was, as you said, I think a routine a routine win is a, a good description. So is that what was behind the half-time substitution? Yeah, we just it was my fault. We just weren't right. I mean. You know, Tommy's been out injured uh, for a couple of weeks, and you know he still looked. He just didn't look bright in that first half. Like I, I had seen Tommy be bright. So, you know, Kieran um, came on, and I thought again gave us a nice balance to the team. Yeah, an excellent second goal. I said the first one was scruffy. Second one was lovely. Yeah, it's a great second goal. Um, great pick out from Harry. But I thought Kieran did some good work before yeah. that. Uh, great ball into Harry. Nice ball in, and lovely, you know, lovely finish from Bolly, who is getting better and better. You know, he he suffered from not playing any games at Grimsby. Um, you know, we had to be a bit patient with him. He hasn't, I think, you know, put the world alight since he's been back. He's been decent in patches, but the last two or three games, you're starting to see the real Bolonara that we remember. And it's the same with all footballers. You know, if you're not playing enough games, uh, you never look quite right. And two other substitutions got Simon Walton and Craig Dundas. Craig Dundas. On yeah, the I mean, end. Walton again. You know, was very unlucky. He's probably been one of our best players the last two or three games. But we want, we wanted probably the extra mobility of Harry and Eastman and. Uh, and Davis against what is a very young Woking midfield and you know we watch them and they like to recycle the ball they got good movement and we just wanted that extra mobility um, but you know it's harsh on Simon uh, the, the side that we picked today harsh on Kieran but that's you know we've got a squad to, to choose from and you can leave Ross, Ross Stern and Josh Taylor out of the squad completely well Ross is not fit right. you know Ross is struggling with a little knee injury so he's probably a week or two away and as I said Josh um, is still really recovering from you know, from what, what happened uh, to him in January. And we've got to be patient with, with Josh, and we're going to be. He's going to be a cracking player for this football club. But it's just at this moment of time, he's still not, not quite right. So he's around the group, but not really um, up for consideration just at this moment. And looking at Saturday, another home game against the uh, side in the bottom half of the table? Well, I think Solly Hall have, um, have brought in six players in this last month. And if you look at the form table, they're actually top or second. Mm -hmm. It's We're not good. playing a team in the bottom six. We're playing a team in the top three for me Saturday. I want to get that point across. You know, they've they brought in five League Two, League One players. Uh, Carl Storer, they brought in Jamie Osborne from Grimsby, Ada Youssef. You know, someone's either robbed a bank or they've uh, got a major benefactor that's come in in the last month because these players are on big money down there. So, you know, with uh, with respect, the side that they've got now, in my opinion, is a top six side. I'm very, very aware that you know, Yates, he was here tonight, he's a professional manager, I know Tim Flower as well, and Solihull's improvement is is dramatic. I thought they hammered Dagenham and Redbridge when I watched uh, that game. And I've, you know, I think they're a very, very good side. If you look at their midfield, Carter's played for Birmingham in the Championship, Storr's played League One. Uh, you know, Jamie Osborne is a very, very good player. We know him from Solihull, he went to Grimsby. You know, Adi Youssef, uh, Kwame Thomas, who we, we liked when he was here. And, you know, Jermaine Hilton is, is absolutely rapid. So. They like to hit you on the counter. Um, you know they're well set up to hit you on the counter as well. But they've got some real quality in there, and it's a credit to the manager that he's got that type of players in. And I'll tell you now, they won't be anywhere near the bottom four come the end of the season. There's one of my little predictions for you. Brilliant. All right. Thanks a lot, Paul. Cheers, Tony.